Hello, my darlings, and welcome back to the Hottie Life YouTube channel, our little space where we've been connecting and shuffling the tarot. We are going to be diving into the message that you need to hear right now. I wasn't expecting this to be a pick a card reading. As you guys can see, I'm actually prepping my deck and clearing my deck out for us to use, but when it's time, it's time. When you know, you know. So I'm going to have three piles that I'm going to be choosing from. Each one is going to allow ourselves to be open to hear exactly what our angels, guides, ancestors, spirit wants you to hear right now in this moment. Let's set intention for discernment, for clarity, for wisdom, for intuition to speak to you directly to your core in a way that makes it so clear, so obvious what message is right for you now, okay? I'm gonna be shuffling from this deck right here. I will link it down below, but let's go ahead and see what we need to focus on for each of these three cards, each of these three piles, okay? So this is gonna be pile number one. This will be pile number two, this candle right here. This will be pile number three. Allow yourself to focus on one, two, or three of the candles. I'm gonna shuffle and see what, this is pile number one's card, what spirit really wants you to focus on right now, or what you need to hear. This is definitely pile number two's card. And this is pile number three. So, oh, girl, pile number two is doing a lot. <laughs> Try to take me out. Take your time, sit with it, and uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. Again, I have no idea what the focus is for each of the cards, but we are gonna find this out together. I will see you at your time stamp. Okay, honeybee, if you chose the first pile, this is your reading, this is your message. Spirit is asking for you to focus on calmness. Okay, the inner divine is the witness of all, remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence. So take a deep breath and then say, quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over. Let's go ahead and look into why. Why is that what you need to focus on? Why is this the message that you need to hear? Ace of Swords reversed. It's funny because um, I was actually hearing the word uh, clarity and the Ace of Swords reversed is a reflection of when we don't have that clarity that it is that we're, we feel like we need in our lives and it can make us chaotic, it can make us jump, it can make us quick to react, to be provoked, and that can steal our power away. That can make us give our power away. So let's look at the next card. Five of Cups, reverse. This card is mourning that continues. Mourning that continues are going back to something that, wishing to go back to something that you feel was lost, could be love. Nine of Cups, this is something that you have really been wanting, wishing for, talking to the universe, your angels and your guides. We have the Eight of Cups reversed again, the Ten of Pentacles reversed. I heard um, the words like broken, something broken. It could be a promise and then at the very bottom of the uh, the last card, you might, you can't see it totally, but it's actually the Justice card. This too is reversed. So right away, Spirit wants to talk directly to the part of you that is focusing on something that feels like something is completely out of is not fair it's interesting because i said as i said that i was thinking that this is what this is what you may this is what you may want like you may be focusing on but i honestly feel like this is what spirit wants to address in your life um I'm, I'm really, I'm getting this really strong, interesting feeling about like protection over, like it feels like overprotection, but it's coming, it's really truly coming from a place of love. And this is coming from the angelic teams, angelic realms. 
The Nine of Cups showing up to me is immediate nod and a testament to the fact that your prayers have been heard. You are being listened to. For some of you guys, you may be struggling with something that you you want, you deserve, you need, but you and you may have been, it could be something that you've asked for recently, or it's something that you continue to ask for, but you haven't necessarily see it, seen it make way in your life. And this is confirmation that your prayers are being listened to. If you haven't seen the outcome yet, it's not because you're being overlooked or that you have not been seen or felt or heard. You may be looking for, especially with Ace of Swords, you may be looking for more and more signs to recognize, for you to feel like you're being recognized with something that is concerning you, troubling you, in places that you trust, in places that you really need to be poured into. You really need a message. You really need to hear something. That's how you feel. And right away, there's this feeling of your angels and your guides saying that it's this silence that you're experiencing or the fact that this hasn't happened is not a sign or a testament that it's not ne never gonna happen that it'll never happen. It's it's that you are really being protected right now and shielded. Can you trust when you hear things? Can you trust when you don't hear things? Can you trust how things are un unfolding? If you lean on your own judgment, if you lean on your own wisdom, if you lean on your expectation of how you want things to be, this is where there can be blockages and this is where you can get frustrated and this is where the disappointment and the anger and the vengeance, the frustration can build and linger and fester. Easier said than done, but this is a message right now where you really are meant to trust in this moment, this season in your life. Even if the season feels like it's multiple seasons, it feels like it's never going to end. It's never going to. It's never going to last. Or it's never going to dissipate. Um, it's never going to switch up. I really am feeling called to stare into the eyes of the Nine of Cups a little deeper. And that is not something that I would say. That's not something that I would feel like I would be doing. But I just really feel, um, I just really feel that someone here is really wanting like depth, connection, purpose, and destiny like this is where someone is could be at the crossroads of their life crossroads of their life and waiting for a divine intervention like waiting for something to come up and say something like say something to me and tell me which way to go tell me that i it's safe for me to believe tell me that it's safe for me to love again like show me show me like show me i see so much um strength but i see the strength coming forward as like i need this like i need I need to know. I need to hear from you. Who or what this is is going to be different for everyone. But it isn't in vain. I really do get a strong sense of protection. In fact, the outcome is not something that you can see from where you stand right now. But when you get there, you're going to understand why things needed to unfold the way that they did. And in the meantime, I just keep hearing that for now, I just really need you to trust. I need you to trust what I'm doing. I need you to trust where we're headed. I need you to trust what's happening here. For someone here, you you might really be dealing with or you might have someone around you who's dealing with disappointment or things that feel very unfair. It could be sickness. It could be being overlooked. It could be um, resources, like really want, worry, wondering and worrying about the future. And I do want to tell you that with this, it feels like there's a full recovery. I don't know what that means for you in this situation. I also feel like for someone, this is a pet message that you need to pass on to a friend or someone that you know or just recently were talking to, that it's not just you in this alone. There's actually people around you that you have been talking to that understand very similar. And that was Spirit's way of also recognizing, like speaking to you and making sure that you know that you are being heard, but you may not see it as such because you you still want an outcome. You still want a solution. In the past, there may have been quick solutions, quick outcomes, and you may be asked to delay. Or when you spoke about it, things kind of maybe fell apart or things kind of changed in a way that, again, you wouldn't have liked. You wouldn't have chosen for yourself. And that's okay. I do get this message here that something here is going to be quickly recovered. I also 
Not that you have anything to prove because I really do want to say that. Fully transparently, you have nothing to prove to anyone or anything. But this moment in your life, and I want you to check your astrology chart if you can. Um, look for Pluto, look for Saturn specifically. This moment in your life is teaching you, and someone is going to hate that I say this. Um, don't shoot the messenger. But this moment is teaching you how to be resourceful. It is providing you longevity. Some people achieve what they want with the quickness. And although it seems promising, although it seems like that's what you may want, spirit, the divine, the universe, energy can read that person's future. And it doesn't seem like everything that you think is sparkling will last. So if you compare yourself to the, the success stories of people who have what you want or mirror what is that you want for yourself, you will face disappointment and sadness and frustration and isolate all of these feelings. You'll feel that. Spirit is, there's this message here that says that what is for you, not only will it find you, but it's going to stick with you. It will last with you. It's not something that will dissipate. In the meantime, what you are to learn is patience Consistency, boundaries, not overextending, not overdoing, not overcommitting, because there needs to be fairness, there needs to be balance, there needs, spirit is looking at everything, not just what you want and how you want it, because if you would have gotten things the way that you, how you would see it, there would be an imbalance here, there already is, and you don't have the clarity right now, at least that's how the divine sees you, you don't have the clarity right now. You might be blinded by the dream. You might be blinded by the vision or how it's going to feel that you're willing to work very hard for that, whatever that is, you know, whatever that is to you right now. It's not that good things and things that last don't deserve or require hard work and effort. They do. But there's some things that the hard work and the effort needs to be reciprocated and it needs to be able to pay off. And that is something that it doesn't always take time, but sometimes it does. When you find it, you'll know. That is something that is worth waiting for. That is something that is worth working towards. So something here or someone here needs to hear, and I don't know if this is you or you can pass this message on to a friend because I am getting that, that vibe. Something here, someone here needs to know that their efforts are not in vain, that it will be recovered, whatever this thing is, meaning like the very thing that you think is that you just missed out on is going to come to you tenfold. This has everything to do with abundance, marriage, love, security, health. It is not going to be in vain. You need to hear that. It's not going to be in vain. Speak it over yourself too so that you know so that you, when you hear it, when you hear yourself say it, your spirit will immediately recognize because that is the truth. That's also one of the reasons why it doesn't sit right with you. It doesn't settle right with your spirit, with your energy, because it's not the truth when, you're, when you tell yourself out of fear anything other than the outcome that is going to be successful and fruitful and abundant and prosperous. And exactly, not just what you wanted, but exceed beyond. And sometimes there's some things that do need to fall into place. I could tell you stories, stories of my own experience of how I'm like, I don't know how this is going to happen, but it ends up, it ends up being perfect. It really does end up like life just really does have a divine way of unfolding a big part of that. And if you need to hear this too, I would love to make a video about this. I'm sure I just need to rem remember um, if you need to rem rem if you need to know how to manifest to set it, set intention to put it out there and to fall back to trust, um, that has really worked out for me. Like literally, think about my life as a testament. I know some of you guys might might be passing through and you don't know my story, you don't know what I've manifested, you don't know the journey. Some of you guys have been there with me from <laughs> the jump. And you know, because you'll see me talk about things and then I'll manifest it shortly after. And it's not, it's not hard. It's not hard, you know, but it is, it's not, and it is, and it is, you know, because sometimes people struggle. Anyway, back to this reading, because you guys know I'll be freaking taking twists and turns, talking and pivoting. Anyway, um, you need to know here that what 
is happening here will be fully recovered, meaning it will come to you tenfold and it will exceed all expectations. In the meantime, that is why this message of calmness is creeping in because I just feel you may feel skipped over, skimmed over, defeated, frustrated. Now what do I do? Like now what do I do? I also feel like it's just kind of crazy. I just got an image. Well, it's been there, but it's been in like the periphery of my subconscious and I just haven't, it's in like an intuitive vision that I didn't look at directly. I'm seeing someone, like I'm seeing like a, a big mound of dirt and the dirt has been dug. You know, it's like a little hole and that dirt is dry, but there's seeds there. And some of you guys are watering, wow. How Spirit shows me is like you're watering the seeds with your tears. Or this sounds so terrible, but like even spit. And it's just not enough. Granted, it's moisture. Granted, it comes from pain and emotion. But sometimes something else needs to happen to water. Like some a spiritual outpouring needs to happen. And then those seeds come to life. And that's what is happening here. It's not that... You're not giving it your all because you are. It's just there has to oftentimes be a sequence of events. I want to look over at the bottom of this deck. And if I see the Wheel of Fortune, it's almost giving like I'm going to see the Wheel of Fortune. But okay. Okay, no. Four of Swords. Okay. It's it's like waiting for things. Like literally calmness, actually. Actually, now this is this makes more sense than the Wheel of Fortune. But what if the car Wheel of Fortune is underneath this? No, King of Swords. Underneath this one, <laughs> six, of wands. six of wands. What about this one? <laughs> Page of wands. One more. Oh, two of cups. I love that. Anyway, um, sorry guys. Uh, yeah, four of swords is really the card of, of peace and really the card of rest and trusting the journey. And yeah, I just, I wish that for you. I really do. I really do. <sighs> okay, let's see what needs to be said and heard right now. What is it? Yeah, Knight of Swords. This is um, the blind spot of like what's stopping this from happening. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, it's what you can't see. Ace of Pentacles, it's what is lacking is what is needed. I'm going to move forward and actually do an extended reading and kind of dive into that to kind of open up the little gate, the little key there. Let's go ahead and see what's up. Um, feel free to meet me in the extended reading. I'm going to link it down below. But for the, for everyone else, look, you have the Hierophant here. You know, continue to continue to know or at least open up again to hear and remember that you are. this is not in vain. You... It is okay, you know, stillness is everything, and in time, in time. Now let's go ahead and see what this blockage is, especially with Seven of Pentacles. This is something that we're looking for, but we can't necessarily see. What is the blockage here? Ace of Pentacles is an investment, it's effort um, that we can put in. You know, what is it? Knight of Swords is something, is information that's missing. I will meet you guys in the extended. Hello, my darlings, if you chose the second... The second candle, this is your reading. This is what Spirit wishes for you to focus on. What is the message? What is the vibe? Let's see. I just got an image of someone rolling the dice, like rolling dice and waiting to see It's almost giving the word, um, this, the word that spirit is showing me is like the word pensive. Someone who is thinking, 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 thinking. I also don't know why, but Nosturatu, no is that how you say it? Hold on. Let me take a look for you. Nosturatu. 
A Symphony of Horror is a 1922 silent German expressionist vampire film depicted by... It means vampire. One of the most famous creepy ugh, names over the centuries is Nosferatu. It is synonymous with the word vampire, but it actually predates the word. It was an archaic Roman word, but eventually was popularized in fiction. Hmm. Wow. All right. That is really creepy, and I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why that's the message but spirit wants you to focus on Ooh. okay sorry <laughs> sorry guys loneliness mm. <sighs> girl or boy I don't know okay I'm really curious to see where these cards take you um I do have a concern. I okay. I do have a concern here. Either someone, especially when I saw that little creature, like that little vampire thing, just kind of like lurking in the dark. I have a concern of you spending too much time by yourself. That you, but I also have a flip concern that. Um, now let me not say it. Three of cups at the bottom of the deck. Let me just let me shuffle. Mm -mm. Yep, Seven of Swords here. Hierophant and Strength card. Why? Okay, let me, let me. Why is Nost Nosteroff? I can't even say his name. Okay, let me tell you this. I don't know who this message is for. I am just going to keep it 100 with you. Always, 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 always. Um, be really careful about who and what you're letting into your energy right now, especially if you are um, not paying attention to people's intentions and vibes or if you did get a vibe from someone and it's not the vibe that you should be having in your life and you still kind of let them let them in. The, it's interesting the King of Cups is upright, I'm glad to see that this person is upright, but it's no coincidence that the Seven of Swords is underneath this person. And I wonder about energy and emotional vampires and maybe your perception of allowing that person in. I just had this conversation actually with someone going with energy going on in their life. And sh this person, um, recently let someone in and believes the best out of this person but I was telling them that it's admirable to see the good in someone but it's also important that your discernment show you that despite what you despite knowing that this person's intentions are not ill for you or not bad towards you they may still be stunted or unaware so their actions impact you in a negative way and it's one thing to make excuses or to vouch for someone and it's another thing to fall victim to their naivety and the fact that they have no idea that they're hurting people with their actions missteps things that they're saying things that they're not saying um and especially someone who may be hurting on the flip side don't let that be you. That goes without saying. But I also kind of want to see if the if you're someone who's spending too much time alone, which it's good to enjoy your own company. It's good to embrace and love your solitude and your your time. It's also very important that moderation show up in your life. <laughs> And anything too much is too much. So King of Cups, I will flip and say that this reading is kind of going in another direction too, where King of Cups is not someone who is alone or isolated for too long, even though he, she does enjoy and seek out time for themselves and also the company of others. To go too deep into the cave of yourself is not good for anything. It's not 
good for anything. It doesn't challenge you in the way that human beings need to be challenged so that they evolve mentally, like their own belief systems get challenged so that they can start picking up on other different perspectives and different ways of viewing the world uh, emotionally when it comes to risks that are willing to, that are worth taking. Um, I didn't realize that my laptop was uh, not muted, so there might be text messages coming through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, just don't wither away. I don't know how to mute my laptop, <laughs> so you guys are going to hear these text messages coming through. Ten of Cups is the next card to come through. All right, let's mute it for now. Um, Ten of Cups is the next card to come through, and this is the card of happiness and joy and familiarity is the word that's coming through. Um, did he have friends? Let's see. What does, when you look at the symbolism of this, like, vampire, what does it mean to you, if anything at all? Which is actually kind of crazy, because now that I think about it, this when I was getting ready to shuffle for this card or for this pile or when I was setting it up, this is the one that kind of like snapped at me a little bit. I don't know if you guys um, remember that, but I do. I do. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the symbolism. Oh, it could represent like a dream, a disturbing dream, like a hallucinogenic dream. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Why is loneliness coming through? Okay, Queen of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Upright, and the Fool card reversed. This is Spirit's way. What does Spirit want you to do is to... Um, wow, I just got an image or I heard the word cubbyhole and I saw a vision of someone going, like pulling into their cubby hole and getting their little stuff, their belongings and leaving first grade or kindergarten. This, okay, what does that mean for me right now? Cause it's very specific. I see this as you moving forward out of something that you've outgrown. Um, whether it be a relationship, whether it be isolation, whether it be a place that you are an outsider, like you don't necessarily fit in, you're not really accepted you're not really encouraged to explore yourself. You may have had people who are energetically vampire, like energetic vampires. It's also giving corporate America, <laughs> like that changed a bit, right? But it's giving corporate America where it's like this way of doing things is the way that it has been, but it's not positive. It's not healthy. It's not constructive. It's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to start looking at other things. It's time for you to start venturing out. Yes, it paid your bills. Yes, it was a good opportunity when it came. Yes, you're grateful for it, but it's time to start moving forward. I think too, pay attention to the places that you do feel um, misrepresented, un misunderstood. Also pay attention to how places bring out that part of you that you're not necessarily so proud of. It's not the highest version of yourself. It's the part of you that is bitter, anger, angry, resentful, triggered, attacky, gossipy. And why? Because that's not you. That's not who you are. This could also be friendships and connections where people that you hang out with, their interests and that community doesn't bring out the best in you. So for lack of boredom and lack of moving forward and lack of starting over, you still kind of stay and linger in these spaces. And although you're around a lot of people, you may actually feel alone. I wonder if you were explored more of your authentic authentic self, if you haven't already, where the friendship circles or the people around you or this corporate. I don't know why I'm seeing like a lot of, like the 10 of cups could be the card of happiness, but I don't see it as that. I see it as sick. I see it as a lot of different type of energies that are all kind of like sitting at this table, like mean girls, only like three times that. And they just kind of chitter, chitter, chitter amongst themselves. And you may be sitting there, a part of it, happy to be a part of it, but not necessarily one, one of it. Like the exchange isn't mutual. It's not 
a reflection of you, although you're still there. If this is corporate America, someone here is moving from one job situation to the next job situation and they're having a hard time severing that tie because of how much work or effort they put in or because they don't, they're just not wanting to start over, starting over, for, like starting, starting over fresh or putting their energy and their effort into something else. And that's understandable, but the alternative is to stay in a space that is vampiric to you, like kind of steals your joy, takes your health makes you hate things <laughs> like it just seems so I want to tell you it seems so obvious on the surface but it's easier said than done and for that reason I give you a lot of compassion and grace and I understand but this is what spirit wants you to ask yourself is at what cost at what at what what's it going to cost you and what's the risk does the risk of picking up and moving forward does it seem like that's a risk worth taking taking because the outcome could be so much better far superior than your current situation and if you're already feeling lonely or isolated or just it's not the vibe right now it's not an energetic match what do you have to lose by leaving it besides comfort stability to ten of cups i gotta tell you it's not giving happy it's not giving happily ever after it's giving I could choose to sit here and settle, but like, would I want that? It doesn't emotionally fulfill me. Three of Swords, Queen of Cups. Would it emotionally fulfill me? You know, and I do want to tell you that the Strength card, Higher Font, and the Seven of Swords can represent, absolutely, it represents um, having the strength, the courage to be like, you know what? I'm going to switch up the routine. I'm going to switch up the community. I'm going to see this corporation for what it is and see that I am not... I don't match this. I may have sat here at this table for years or at this desk for years, but I'm going to take my stapler, seven of swords, and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move on. What is that thing for you? What is that thing for you? It's giving office space. Have you seen that movie? If not, try checking it out. And office space could really represent like a job. Um... It could represent a way of life that you have outgrown, but you are scared to do things differently. It could represent a relationship or friendship or community that has stopped growing you. Like you're just not growing there and painful as it is or uncomfortable as it is, it's time for you to, you know, just kind of cut your ties. Maybe not all of them. It doesn't need to be like how they set the whole building on fire. It, but, um... What did the boss say? He's like, when he walks past them in the in his cubicle, where he's like, <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> I don't hate anybody, but the character, he plays the character so well, where he's just like, um, he says something. Like, hmm, you know what? Like, hmm. Like, he just is so, ah! Uh, that's probably the vampire in you guys' life. Just a pest. Just really, like, empowered, but doesn't necessarily, like, I do want everybody to be empowered, but it's almost like, why? This guy is almost too comfortable. It's like someone who excels in an area of, like, meteor, meteor, mediocrity. Like, it's like, are you still proud of that? Okay, this is like TMI. My boyfriend has a friend. <laughs> I know for a fact he doesn't watch my YouTube channel. Um, because he's just not, he's so much, he's so funny, but like, he's definitely, I wouldn't catch him dead here. Like you just, there's no way. Um, he's, he's just not a match <laughs> for this type of work at all, or this type of energy. Anyway, he, he's someone who is very much a playboy and he does well with his business, but he doesn't love it. Like it's not his path. It's not his purpose. So as soon as his job is done, he goes out and he drinks, 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 drinks. And he goes to the same bar, same place and ends up bringing home a woman every single night. And he prides himself on these very like low self-esteem women. And I don't want to speak ill over it, but it's like, there's always drama and conflict with these women again and again and again. It's always new, but it's never new. You know what I mean? And he brags about it. And it's just to me, I'm like, how can you, this thing that you put so much energy and effort into like, yeah, look what I, look what I do and all these women that I'm like discarding, but it's like, 
how can you be proud of something that doesn't love itself fully? Like, how can you brag about, like, if you are going to do, if you're going to do something difficult, then that's something worth kind of looking back and being like, wow, I achieved this. But if you're doing the same thing, same places, same routine, then you can't really, what the same thing that you're celebrating, the same thing that you're kind of not proud of, but that you kind of brag about, is it really worth bragging if it doesn't have a whole lot of value? Because if, if that's the case, really, what is it that you're doing? You kind of match the energy that you're pulling in or finding people who are in a low space. And, you know, and you can tell, not to go off on a tangent, but like you can tell you know, these people that he's pulling that they're just, they're lonely. So they, he just like a vampire, like a vampire that literally puts it all together. I'm glad I use this example because you guys know, sometimes I go off on a tangent, but it's like he preys on things and can sense that one right there has a broken fin tonight, <laughs> like a broken wing. So I'm going to pounce on it. And he, vamp, his vampire ways, and it happens to people. Like it happens to the best of us, you know? To a lot of people, not just in relationships, one night stands and those types of things, but just in life where you're just like, not that you settle, but you get vulnerable and something can prey on that vulnerability and it'll be very happy to do that. And you know that it's not bad, but your discernment in your future self would probably suggest otherwise, but you still maybe do it. Don't in this situation, or at least reflect. That's what spirit really wants you to focus on right now is how, how life may make you vulnerable to say, to say yes to things or do things or consent to things, many things that you don't necessarily, um, vibe with. And it could be something, I don't know why corporate America is coming through. Some of you guys might really be switching your career and your job. So, I do want to tell you that this bandage sticks out to me. And for that reason, as well as the King and the Queen of Cups here, they are separate, but they are here in the same reading, which means that to me, we can bring them together. Now, for that reason, that's where my extended reading is going to focus on is bandaging up the part of you that may be lonely, that may be being preyed on or vulnerable to being preyed on by something that wants to take advantage of you or benefits from you far greater than you benefit from it. We are going to work on resolving that. Okay. So if you would like to go further into this reading and kind of repairing this and reflecting a little bit on it, healing it, moving forward, then you can check the extended reading down below. I will definitely link it. If you're leaving, it was a blessing. Honestly, thank you so much for really um, such a unique reading. Like I wasn't, you really challenged me and I love being challenged with the, within the tarot. Um, and I'm sending you all of my love and seriously, give yourself everything. And if not, don't be afraid to take risks. The full card here is reversed and is a little fearful. And I understand that I've had to take some, you know, pivots in my life that I'm just like, ah, oh, like, how do I do this? But the, the drive, the desire to do big things for myself was just so great that I just couldn't not take that risk. And I hope setting attention for your own courageousness and also for companionship and support to meet you when you do cross that bridge, wherever that bridge is meant to be taking you right now. Okay. For everyone else that I'll be meeting in the extended, I will see you shortly and everybody else. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hello, darlings. If you chose the third candle, this is your message. Also, this is my phone right here. I'm going to move it over here. I got a text message during the last reading. Okay. Let's see. What does spirit, angels, guides, ancestors wish for you to focus on? Write me out. interesting I just heard like a feeling of it's not what I heard it's also how it felt it's like a cat purring like sleeping and purring so I don't know if that's someone's kitty with them right now or if that's the energy that's the vibe 
or if it's a symbolism. Knight of Wands. Okay. What you are asked to focus on right now ooh, is true love. I'm just kidding. Your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner. But this sovereignty, speaking of cats, actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Wow. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. So this is love about to enter into your life or something that you really, really love about to just charge into your life. This is giving comfort. It's giving something that you want. I also think that for some people they have to compromise. I don't see you compromising. You have a lot of cards that just jumped out. I'm going to go with it. This is something that's going to give to you a whole lot. I want to tell you, um, I want to tell you guys that everybody, I don't know why I want to say this to you. Everybody's story and everybody's situation is their story. Everybody has their own experiences. I would be really careful and cautious about listening to what other people say and then expecting that for yourself. I feel like you need to hear that something is going to be way better than you expect or you're going to step into something that you excel at where others may have failed and those same people who are giving you advice and telling you what to expect are going to start looking to you and asking you for so how did you, like, they're going to ask you, like, how did you do this? Or what's the secret? And you're going to have the answer. I don't know why that's the message, but that's what's coming through. I'm going to move my glasses here for, for now. That's the message that's coming through. Let me sit with these cards for a little bit. Um... What's really standing out to me is the, this um, man being wrapped by a snake and the seven of cups is the card of choices and he's made a choice. He made a choice. I also feel like a story is being told with these cards, the way that they pan out. I want to say that there's something here that you may be right now kind of powering through. Uh, life, responsibilities, like I just heard the word like tested, like you might be, your, your patience might be being tested, your adversity, your resilience is being tested, but I, I am also hearing the word performance and, or the word perform. And then with that, I hear the word performance. So this is about your, your, cap your capability, like how ready you are, which is so interesting because the last few car, the last few polls, like the last two readings, they were I don't say not prepared, but they needed to become more prepared, and you are prepared. I think right now, Spirit is telling you to ground yourself and to come to, come to, like come to yourself, because there's this message here about not listening or not hearing, not absorbing, not taking in what other people are saying, what they're doing. You're meant to follow through with what you're meant to do for you, whatever you are about, whatever venture you're about to take on you gotta go your path you gotta go your path there's a need to ground stabilize support and recognize your own wisdom recognize your own strength ground yourself like really ground yourself if you are an earth sign this is about tapping into what you are good at if you are not an earth sign Follow the the steps of what an earth sign would do and you would find you'll find yourself gaining more clarity. Also, someone here needs to stop putting like they need to start putting things down. Like you're going to need to focus. If this is a relationship, I don't want to scare you or get you excited, but this could be the one. If you are in a relationship, this is a part of the next stage in the journey of the relationship that requires you to buckle down to be serious. This is like someone who gets engaged and now you're planning the wedding and some of your girlfriends or friends around you may not necessarily understand the season in your life. They may still be, be very single and moving in that way when you have 
you're you are in a season of merging families and making plans and like the more serious aspects of like solidifying it's just like some it's like next level but like okay we gotta focus someone here is at the finish line of finalizing something someone here is really like mature <laughs> like I don't know how to say it like, just straight up maturing or mature or about to be full-heartedly who they have never seen that themselves as but who they are to their core and where some people before you may have struggled and have a difficult time you just effortlessly succeed within this and you are walking your path This thing is great. This feeling that I get is great. It is, a, it is a great love. It is a great love. It is... It is a great love. I don't know how else to say it. Um, this is so random, but I'm going to need to look at how celery grows. I know that's so weird, right? But, yeah. Something about... Yeah. Um, something about, this is so specific, but how celery grows, like you can see, you can, there's some, there's, if you think about carrots or radishes or potatoes, they grow underground. So you don't necessarily know what you are going to, what reward you're about to reap with celery. I get this image of, you can see the abundance. You can see what you are going, you can see your abundance. You can see what you are about to collect. It's also like when you cut it, it will regrow. So it's like the same thing that you reap, you can go back and get more. This is something that naturally replenishes itself. Celery is so specific. So someone may need to really look at the symbolism of celery. For others, they may have planted different seeds or life has given them different things to work with their abundance is different than yours so when they pull up a carrot when they pull something else up they may not necessarily they may not necessarily be able to regrow what they just chopped when you it's just this it's just effortlessly it grows back it doesn't take from you it keeps giving back even when you slice and dice it or when you give to it it immediately it's like it's like having a arcade machine in your house and when you put ten dollars in you immediately hit the jackpot and get ten grand out and yeah like yeah you put in ten dollars but every time you do you get ten you don't get anything less than ten grand like it's like of course I'm gonna you're not gonna sit there and keep hitting the machine because you're not a crackhead you know I shouldn't have said that I'm so sorry I'm so sorry um please internet don't get mad at me um I didn't mean it like that. I, you're just not an addict. Like, you're not doing too much, you know? Like, you're not over and overindulging, over, like, like the rat hitting the button, you know? Da -da 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 -da, like, just trying to get that hit. Um, it's like you appropriately use it. It's you, you just have this endless, effortless pot of security or joy or energy because everything aligns like it just feels right versus someone who has their arcade machine and sometimes they get a good hit you know where they get 10 grand out or five grand out but they may put in a lot of money to finally hit the ball one time you know you just have different outcomes and these same people who were like you know, I told you about this and then you did it. Why are you, why, like, what is it that you're doing? Like, where did you get your machine from? Now, all of a sudden, the things that they were so cocky and confident about, now they're asking you, well, send me your link. Like, let me use your machine. It's just like, no. You know, it's very, it's a very specific message. At the end of the day, what it is that I'm trying to absolutely tell you is to trust yourself, trust your journey, and you are in the midst of, it's not that you're about to be, you are in the midst of embracing and being a part of something that is your true nature, that is easy and effortless and worth it. Work that is rewarding and fulfilling Love that is strong and powerful. 
and just somehow keeps giving back and somehow makes your life so worth it. When I see the Three of Cups at the end, I don't know if you can see this. When I see the Three of Cups here, I don't see this as too much. I see this as my cup over, overflows. And some of you guys have waited a long time in your life to get to this point, and now you're here. I did extended readings for everyone, and I don't know what the extended would be, and I don't want to leave you out. I just want to look at the how the cup is going to be pouring. Okay. A man's. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it could, it could. On some realness, it could be a masculine creature <laughs> entering into your life. Um, but it could represent your purpose and you knowing yourself fully through and through. Like, I know who I am. This is what I was made for. You may have been great at a lot of things, but this is about to be the thing that you master. If this is a relationship, this is about someone who has maybe had great relationships in the past, maybe shitty relationships in the past, but you are about to be with the one. Like, seriously. If this is you're in a happy relationship right now and you guys are good, it's about to solidify and be more serious or more stable or just like it. If you are in your work, you're about to achieve something great or something is about to happen that sets you up for life and less effort on your part. Like you, you become the CEO and you only show up virtually through FaceTime meetings when you're on your yacht in the Greek islands. If this is about life and purpose and not career or anything else like that, this is about you doing many great things, but about really finding yourself in this new role, whatever that role is, and just feeling, holy shit, I am so fulfilled. This is a very, very positive reading. Is there anything, Spirit, that you would like to talk about? This card right here. Queen of Pentacles. This has a lot to do with continuing to water your garden and also know that you are so deserving. Like, you don't owe, I don't know why, if someone needs to hear this, but you don't owe anybody an explanation. Sometimes you are favored by God. Like, sometimes you do, you do get out of some crazy situations. You climb out of the sewer system of life, you know, and you end up in a whole paradise and you're just like, I had no idea. Sometimes it really is too good to be true. No, sometimes it's not too good to be true. Sometimes it is exactly just phenomenal and like it's yours. <sighs> wow. I really love that this was the reading. I'm going to dive into the Emperor in the extended reading for you, my loves. But um, this is a really, really, really positive reading. I think in the extended, we are going to get into the mind and the energy of the Emperor, whether it be you, stable, solidified, secure, or an actual masculine energy that is entering into your life that just kind of really helps, like, seriously to stabilize you. You know when people say... Like, you know, I don't need my better half or whatever. Like, I, I'm whole and complete as I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I, uh-huh, uh-huh. I totally, I totally agree. I totally understand. But then, 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 there is the person and persons who find themselves with someone who just simply, truly does make life so much better. Like, living life with them makes it just like holy wow like just so grateful and yes you had happiness and fulfillment and joy and purpose before but having this person in your life is just like wow like a lot of people want that but a lot of people don't find it so um i wish that for you you know and that 
Or if it's not a person, I wish for you the thing that fulfills you. Like literally your cup is over full, overflowing. That's what I'm going to look in with the three of cups here. It's interesting because if this is a male person, they may have an interest in like wine or like fine dining or like they have like a taste for the finer things. What is it called when someone does like wine tasting? Like they, I think it starts with a C. Not a connoisseur, although that's very similar. Let me look it up real quick. Wine taster. <laughs> Professional. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh my God! It actually said what I, yeah, sommelier. It's kind of giving that. If it's not a person who's entering in, in your life, it could be you who just is, has a taste for the finer things and you just know a good thing when you see it. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right, my loves. Um, I'm going to move on to the extended and we're going to dive into the emperor and the three of cups, the cup overflowing, cup pouring. We're going to get into this mind, the energy or the future of this or the present of this. Um, for everyone else, if you are not following me into the extended, that is totally cool. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for your energy. Uh, I just wish you the best and I hope that you are fulfilled and happy and joyful and healthy and everyone else who's going to be with me in the extended, we are going to be diving in. I'm really curious to see what this energy is and where it's going to take us. True love, emperor, and the three of cups. I'm excited. Let's go. Literally, nine of cups. Let's go. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one and everyone else, I will see you in the extended. Bye.